It definitely doesn't cost seven billion for a voltage regulator. <laughs> That's what Brian Davis Ooh. reportedly is putting together to try to get the commanders away from Josh Harris. And this is so weird because all of last week it was Josh Harris, Josh Harris, and a little bit of mystery about Steve Apostolopoulos or maybe Jeff Bezos, but it became more and more clear Josh Harris is buying it for $6.05 billion. Then over the weekend, reports emerged that Brian Davis has a $7 billion bid for the commanders. And there's been more reporting and more discussion. He did an interview with WUSA last night. He was on the Sports Junkies 106.7 The Fan in D.C., Earlier today, I'm going to listen to that whole interview and try to make sense of it. I've seen some stuff on Twitter that I don't know what's accurate and what isn't. But here's the bottom line. If you are going to own the team, if you're going to be the primary owner of a team that you're paying $7 billion for, you got to have in cash, not literally, you got to be able to transfer the value of $2.1 billion. You got to own 30% of the team yourself. You can't borrow for any of that. You can borrow the rest. There are limits on how much you can borrow from banks. You can get a partnership group together, which is what Josh Harris has done. Josh Harris has the minimum of 30%, and others have different percentages. Magic Johnson, 4%, for example, $240 million, just for 4% of the team. That's Good amazing. Lord. But for Brian Davis, he's got to have $2.1 billion that he can acquire that 30% with. And then he's got to have the resources to run the team afterward you got to pass rigorous financial examination to be the primary owner of an NFL team. And I look at it this way. Hey, maybe the guy's got $2.1 billion, But if he does, he's, he's the most uh, secret and clandestine billionaire the world has ever seen. Because it's hard to hide when you're a billionaire. How does this guy that no one has ever heard of, that played basketball for Duke, played for the Minnesota Timberwolves for a couple years, and then by all appearances and accounts disappeared... He's got $2.1 billion that he can use to buy a football team all of a sudden? Congratulations if it's true, but there's just something about it, Chris, that doesn't seem right. Well, obviously. I mean, and, and like, it, it, yeah, there's obviously something there. I, I don't know what it is. I mean, like you're talking about there. Is it too late, Mike? Like, you know, or is, is, it, is it already done with the Josh Harris thing here? Like, period? Or can this actually still happen? Is the NFL still looking into who's helping him out and his team or whatever? Like, yeah, where I don't I don't know where does this go? If it's a real seven billion, it's not too late. Bank of America, which is handling the transaction, has a clear interest financially in getting the most money because the as the industry operates, they get a piece of the transaction cost. So the more they sell it for, yeah. the more they get. But it's got to be real. It's got to be real. And there's been no indication to think it's real. It feels like some sort of strange PR campaign. And the guy is getting free publicity. We're talking about him now sure. when we otherwise wouldn't have been. But it just seems odd to me that it happens out of the blue. It's significantly more than the $6.05 billion. And I, I, the question I want answered is, does this guy have $2.1 billion that he could immediately transfer to acquire ownership of the team and be the primary owner. There's been talk about Middle Eastern money. Right, he denied that, that yeah. there's any Saudi Arabian money. It's right. just, it's there's something strange about all of it. And the fact that it doesn't seem to be taken seriously by the league underscores something's not right. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.